Hello everyone and welcome back to your channel Ashtag. Now this is our ongoing series on garbage collection and the topic that we are going to take in this particular tutorial is object life cycle and GC root. So first let's start with object life cycle. Now in object life cycle there are three different phases. The first one is object creation, object usage and object destruction. So first let's take a look at object creation. Now in Java whenever we want to create an object we usually go with this particular syntax which is class name object name is equals to new and again class name. Now new is the keyword which we generally use to create an object. Now there are several other ways also but for now we are sticking with new keyword. Now once we execute this we will get the object name is obj and this particular process is object creation. Next is object usage. Now in this let's say we are performing arithmetic operation and in our obj we are storing the result. Now once we execute all the operation we will return the result and this particular process is object usage. Now once result, result is written that object is no longer needed and garbage collector monitors such kind of objects. It keeps a count on the number of references to each object. Once it finds that there is no reference to this object, it then deallocates this unused memory and this particular process is known as object destruction. Next, let's take a look at garbage collection routes. Now since our program is executing, it will keep on generating objects. Now here, the monitor is full with the objects. Now at this particular time, garbage collector will feel the need to collect the objects. Now in order to do that, it will use GC root. Now GC root is nothing but the initial point from where the garbage collector will start tracking the live objects. So once it will start tracking the objects and if it able to find it will mark them live and it goes on. So until and unless it traverses all the objects and mark them live it won't stop and once that is done all the objects which are not reachable are marked as dead. Now these objects which are marked as dead will be garbage collector and memory will be reclaimed from these objects. Now since GC root is the initial point, there are several examples which can act as a GC root and few of them are classes loaded by system class loader. Here the custom class loaders are not part of garbage collection routes. Next is live threads. Local variables and parameters of the currently executing methods, local variables and parameters of GNI methods, global GNI references, objects used as a monitor for synchronization and objects held from garbage collection by JVM for its purpose. So these can act as GC routes wherever garbage collector requires to mark all the live objects. So that's it from this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be learning about phases of garbage collection. Now please like, share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get our latest notification. Thanks for watching.